Honestly, we need to start doing that. Next time some people come in, let's tase that motherfucker. If he comes in one time, tase his ass. Episode 63, part two. It's tough when it's two, part three, or three, part two. Talk to the people real fast. We introduced you on the I'm last new. episode. Yeah, I'm new. Jeff Lowe, part of Lights, Camera, Barstool. Also, this guy, too, Ken Jack. He's up, just grinding, though. He can't even he our, can't uh, help because he's our, in our his third own. is in here. Yeah, our, our third is in here, Trill Balls. But yeah, we're the new movie podcast here. And well, much more than that. So. And also, Golden Knight fans, yeah. the biggest ones in the office. We're going to go up 3 1. Listen, I know you just got to Barstool, but there's something that you really need to know, man. Okay. I've been meaning to tell you this. You need to get at least a mattress because you're going to sleep better than you ever have before. And if you're thinking, all right, I want to get one, but, you know, I don't have the money. First of all, they're very affordable. And second of all, promo code scenes, you're getting $160 off, dude, more than they've ever offered. These guys, I thought they were the best before, and I really don't know where it's even go right now. $160, dude. You could go to a lot of movies for $160. A lot. Uh, 10 in New York. Yeah, but yeah, not anymore. Not yeah, yeah. But basically... I have one myself, this is a true story, I sleep on it every night, and the pillow, they gave a complimentary pillow, I don't know if you'll get that, but it's so comfortable, it's the best. And you know what else we found out this week? Brad Stevens, I don't know, is he open to LeBron signing your Cavs fan? I am, yeah, not going low right now. It's not, but uh, at least we got part of my take to get to the bottom of, you know, the coaching questions. Hey coach, it's Dan Katz from MJVersLeBron.net. I was uh, wondering, do you think that you're coaching for your job this playoffs? I don't really ever think about it. Uh, but it's your job to coach. One of those things when you're in, when you're in, when you're in, uh, when you're in coaching, you get into coaching understanding that it's probably not going to end well, and there's only so much you can control. You just try to enjoy being around the players you're with and the coaches you're with front office you're with and everybody else the ownership and just try to enjoy the experience and have as good of an experience as we all can have and um you know when it comes to an end it comes to an end thanks <laughs> it's, it's so dead serious <laughs> oh my god what a nerd hey coach uh this is pft commenter from uh draftjoshallen.com I was wondering if you had any interest in LeBron James as a free agent this summer. He, you know, he hasn't made up his mind yet. Next question. Talk about that stuff. Please. Sorry, Dad. Can't be so Thank you, everybody, for the call. Thank you. <laughs> you just end the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> uh... Yeah, exclusive. Brad Stevens is afraid of getting asked tough questions in conference calls. Are they looking at Bron Bron? He didn't say no. Yeah, he, he didn't say, say no. no. That's a good point, Larry. Yeah, Did not deny. I here, I'm gonna tweet that out. Just asked Brad Stevens on conference call if they were interested in LeBron James. Stevens did not deny interest. Someone the Mark Diam Diamakva said, someone just asked Brad Stevens if he feels like he's coaching for a job during the playoffs. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> well, Mark, his job is to coach. It is literally his job. <laughs> what did he say back? Brad Stevens just answered it like a total nerd. He was like, "Well, you just never like when you get in this profession, you never know how long you'll be in it." I'm like, <laughs> it's so perfect. I mean, that's exactly what I expect out of Brad Stevens. He's very literal. But goddamn, that was funny. <laughs> did they just ask the next question like nothing happened? Yeah. yeah. But then they entered the conference call when PFT <laughs> asked if they were thinking about signing LeBron in free agency. The guy like swooped in and was like, "This conference call's over." It was like. But it was it wasn't like it wasn't like real media. Yeah. It was like like some dude was like, yeah, this is the you know the local paper in in Sydney, Australia. Like what? Some they guy was from like South they Africa. Had, like, bombs got bomb. Yeah. Some <laughs> guy. Yeah. Some guy sounded underwater like from like you know the Punxsutawney you know ledger. It was <laughs> it was a weird yeah. mishmash uh, of people. Couple of big J's, dude. Exclusive. 
Welcome to the shark tank, you know? Brent is a guy that's really turned himself around. You may be familiar with the gang gang. I'm a elliptical guy, too. Uh, elliptical gang gang, a member right here. Yes. Probably while you're eating a salad. Yep. Trent, not tempted by Milky Ways. No. I am. But I, I haven't given in yet here. Right. Very hard here. Don't give in. <laughs> Try my hardest. Stay strong, my man. So, I can't even do anything. You're eating it, though. I know, it's a problem. <laughs> Throw it away then. I fuck with Milky Ways hard. Are you kidding me? I can't throw these things away. It's like beautiful. Milky Ways are milk of art. They're underrated. Mm. Trent's like the guy who's like mm. used to be an alcoholic and now yeah. he like can't even. We got, we got pizza for the office yesterday and I'm just sitting there. He shows remarkable restraint though. If it was me and I was an alcoholic, I'd be like, ah. And his arm's stronger than you. He right? resists. It's crazy. Like, I could be like, do you want this, Trent? I'll say no. The answer is yes. You want to yes. smell it? But I'm not I bet you eat can't it. smell it and not eat it. I bet I can. Oh, yeah. Wow, see, that's just incredible. How do you smell? I'll probably have like 10 Milky Ways when I get back to my apartment. <laughs> In silence, out of, the, out of the eye of everyone else. I mean, how would we ever know? I'm just going to get like light bulb shock and fuck it. Yeah. Just be like, yeah, I've been going to the gym a ton and then just go to the, go to the doctor. Shit. Whatever. No, I'll just tell you guys. I don't fucking care. <laughs> like, whatever, just kidding now. <laughs> Who cares how I got there? That'd be, that'd be another thing you just rub in my face. I do all this work and then you're like, I'll just get surgery. It'd be so much easier. Get surgery, bitch. <laughs> if you won the lottery or if you like worked hard for your money, whatever, we're both rich, who cares? Who cares hard to argue with there? that, yeah. that is true. Rich is rich. There's, I have rich. the satisfaction of doing it, but it's really, like, no, I'm, there's I not much to that. the satisfaction of being rich, like whatever. Yeah. The satisfaction is being skinny. Right, it's not getting there. Getting there is the worst. The worst. You're, cool. how, how, you're not enjoying yourself. I haven't had fun since I started. <laughs> what about that time you fake drank with us? I did. I fake drank with him. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Fake drank on Derby Day. That was fun. He's like, yeah, let's go to a Derby party. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And I just like, don't leave my apartment. So I was like, I should get some fresh air. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be hung over the next day. Right. So I went. We were it's sipping on these rosé packets. And I was just like pretending to do it. <laughs> but that was fun. I had a great time. That's how lame my life is. Now, there's a lot of different things that you learn about your coworkers. The guy that sits right over here, his name's Riggs. Yeah. He's a big umbrella guy. And by that, he means a big, big umbrella guy. Yeah, he got a massive umbrella this week. Big umbrella. And even bigger. I think it is. I guess when you're the umbrella guy. It's like an umbrella tent. I mean, that's a fucking serious umbrella. And your bus that may be open inside? Yeah, I'm driving to be walking around the city with this thing. I mean, that's bigger than Zop. It's way bigger than Zop. Oh my god. <laughs> stay cool, stay dry, stay protected. Or, ooh, does it come with her anything? <coughs> hey, that's you, Ruth. <laughs> that's me hanging with my girl there. Wow, interesting. Now, you're a big movie guy. We've established Huge. that in pretty much every transition that we've done so far. So it yeah. seems really repetitive right now. But either way, TV, it's a whole different ballgame. It is. There's a lot more to pick from, too, especially over the course of the year. And as far as picking, the Bachelors picked a guy from Iowa named Trent. Really, it's not really our trend. Stuff. It's, it's, it's not our trend. It's a blatant troll drug. Like I, I think it's a blatant troll from the Bachelor. It'd be like if they had another guy in the mask that that didn't say smock and that said something yeah. like close to it. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's, that is. Never mind. I know. Cause I, I think it's because I tweet things that are like negative about the show, and they're like, we're gonna subcast this no, trend. It's just like, it, like it's it's one of those weird things that Barstool has gotten to a point where I feel like. Like I said, it sucks to kind of come across as narcissist, but someone in the Bachelor like casting room said, oh, if we get this Trent guy from Iowa, Barstool people will be like, what the fuck? Oh, so that I played right in their hand? <laughs> yeah, but you had to. You had right. no choice. You had to vlog it, but like they did that on purpose to fuck with you and also get like Barstool people. I mean... I mean 
Animal Although world. there are a lot of Trents in Iowa, probably. There's a, guy, a lot of people that look like me, but there's not a lot of people named Trent. Does he look like you? He's got better hair than me. Well, I'll say that. Well, yeah. He, 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 he modeled. Says, it says he was featured on the cover of some romance. Hey, he's, not mo he's not model. He's model. not model handsome at all. Romance is like. You're better than romance. Than romance. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, I mean, you're. That guy's like. That guy doesn't look like he's from Iowa. No, yeah. They, What's they that supposed to mean? <laughs> he's not, he's not he's even from Iowa. It's not. He's not strong. <laughs> Trent is strong. Trent could lift a fucking thousand pounds over his head. Easy. No, no, yeah. Trent Daddy, what's your, me what's your message to fake Trent? Fuck you. That's my message to fake Trent. I hope you lose. I hope you get your heart broken real, real bad. But if he wins, then maybe not, because then we can probably get him on the interview. That's true. No. No. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to be in the same room with him. Because it's like, it's a Trent from Iowa. Like, if this guy's a huge nerd who sucks at kissing, it's going to be like, ugh. It's bad for the Trent from Iowa brand. I'm not rooting for him. You can't. You gotta root for him, but you can't. You have to root for him to not be a total fucking loser. Like you need to root for him to get kicked off for being such an alpha, awesome dude. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I like this guy too much. Yeah, yeah. If if I keep him on, I'm gonna have sex before we're supposed to have sex on this show. It's also better for him to stick around and at some point get a clip. That trend for him. Yeah, me all like she, when she's like swooning, like yeah. woo! I'm still gonna root against him, but I'm gonna root against Trent Daddy. Trent Daddy. I'm still gonna root against him, but I'm gonna root against him going too far. What if he takes over the Trent from Iowa brand completely, and you have to like change your name? Well, we gotta make sure that Dave doesn't fight out of office because he will hire Trent from Iowa. Replace me? Yeah, I mean, come on, he'll fire him to just fucking like follow him around and just. That's true. Um, that's true. We're going to turn off all Dave's TVs for the next month and a half. Okay. Did you hopefully, blog about it? Hopefully he doesn't check the site, which I don't think he does. No, he yeah. <laughs> We're good there. It's the I, safest place. The way Dave looks at the site, it's like, um, it's like how, like, do can dogs not see a color? They have rods like, and cones. Yeah. But, like, Dave, when Dave goes on the site, like, he, it's, um, Oh no, you know what it's like, uh, the Simpsons episode, when the dog learns how to, like, like it's like all jarbled, mumbled words, and yeah. it's like, mm -hmm. finally he's understanding English. Yep. Dave sees uh, gibberish for everyone else's blogs, and it's like, pizza review. Yeah. I own LeBron. And then it's gibberish, 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 like, gibberish. As long as my pizza review, it's good. Yeah. 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 Trent from Iowa, on The Bachelor. Stool Scenes episode 63. Shout out to Mike Rivero. No, if they're on our property, uninvited, we can tase them. Well, this is this is where or the shoot. miscommunication comes by because I feel like because I see you, you gotta second let, Second Amendment. You gotta let me know these things. <laughs>